Hello, welcome back to Bali vlog part two. If you haven't watched part one, then go back and watch part one first. This is the second part and it's gonna be a little bit more luxurious than part one. So we are currently actually in the Ritz and I've just checked into our room with Corey. I'm gonna give you a room tour because it's actually insane. We are here for three nights and I cannot wait to make the most of every single inch of this place. It's in so let's show you the room anyway first of all um before i do make sure you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't already okay i've got low battery so if this dies i'm gonna be fuming so this is as you walk in we've got the entrance way to the left we've got a toilet this is just one of the toilets so you come in got this gorgeous mirror hello and then the toilet is behind the door. It's actually automatic and you have like a bum spray thing on it. It's heated toilet seats and everything. Crazy. Come back out. That is the front door. And then we have our mini walk-in closet. So all of our luggage is in here. Um, you have a little walk-in wardrobe where you can hang all of your outfits. And then through here, there is the second bathroom. So you come in, you've got a little double sink a juliet sink i think they're called um which is gorgeous and then the main star of the show is the huge bathtub in the middle of the room and it actually has a tv to match crazy and we told them it was our anniversary um so they've put like hearts everywhere which is so cute that is the gorgeous shower it's just the details are so cute and amazing like they've got a body scrubber here this is full of like bath salt how amazing there's like little body scrubs and shampoos in the shower in here is the second toilet oh other way victoria Ta -da! <laughs> that is the second toilet then if i go back through here back to the entrance way we come to yeah, my camera died but just quickly show you this is our little cake delvin what's it like inside to open it up yeah interesting what's that, that just oh is it little sponge maybe like strawberry sponge mm. nice mm. nice Mm. Soft. Oh, that is nice. Okay, I don't know if my camera is going to die again. But, as I was saying, this is our little dining table. This is our lounge area. We've got a big TV. This is the bedroom. Look how cute. We've even got little swan love heart. Simply amazing. And that bed does not even look half as big as what it actually is another TV and then we have this absolutely humongous balcony so that is the room tour out of 10 I've never been anywhere like this in my life so <laughs> I'd say a good solid 6 out of 10 <laughs> no, 10 out of 10 unbelievable yeah we've even got free coffees coffee machine that Victoria can't work yeah I can't work I tried to make a coffee and it came out like that so. show the walk-in wardrobe yeah Show the walk-in wardrobe. Yeah, Show electric, everything. toilet. Yeah. Heated seat. Yeah, don't you worry, I've covered everything. Right, okay, we'll see you at the pool. Oh my God, I've had the most relaxing afternoon. Left my camera on charge, so I'm sorry you couldn't come along, uh, but we just went to the pool and the pool kind of like goes onto the beach and we were just like chilling on the sunbed. I was editing my video for YouTube um, and now I think I'm just gonna get ready. Um, Corey's gone to the gym, so we are home alone and got this whole beautiful bathroom to myself. So I'm just gonna like wash my hair. It's all salty, well, chlorine-y. We did go in the sea. We like tried to pop our feet in the sea, but it was a bit seaweedy. So we just stuck to the pool. Um, and I don't actually know where we're gonna go tonight probably one of the restaurants within the hotel because I think there's like three no there's more than three I think there might be five you know so we're gonna find one of those restaurants to eat in so I'm now going to get ready I will see you when I'm ready ready I'm gonna show you my outfit and my makeup because I just spent so long doing my makeup and my 
phone. I was filming it and my phone died. So that's really annoying. But this is what the makeup is looking like. I have done really bronzy. I feel like I look really orange in the light, but I've gone really bronzy. I've gone um, shimmery eye with some lashes. This is the first time I've added lashes on this holiday. And then I've got a corset and some linen trousers on. Let me show you in the long mirror. Got slick back hair as well. We've made such a tip of this room, so just ignore all the clothes behind. But yeah, we've got this white corset from Pretty Little Thing, and then we have these linen trousers. These are actually from H&M, and I got them in the winter sale. So I don't know if they're still available. And then on my feet, I've just got my little sandals. Um, we were gonna go heels, but I think we're going onto the beach for a beach bonfire. Not really dressed for that, but we'll see. I'm not sure. My phone has died, so I've just decided to leave it here. For the evening, I'm just going to be phone free and just focus on my camera. So let's go. So this is where we're staying. This is the resort. That's like a function room where you can have weddings, so you don't go in there. But it's really pretty. We are the closest villas to the pool and the beach, so very handy. I feel like we're steaming up here. Let me wipe the lens. I think that's better. It's the outer edges that look a bit steamy. Um, so this is a restaurant. This is one of the restaurants. It's a grill. But right now we're trying to find the beach bonfire. I don't know. Do you know where it is? Yeah. God, that's so pretty. Can we have a picture? This is the pool. So it goes kind of up. There's different layers. And then when you turn around, this is what it goes on to. The beach so it's kind of like all in one you know oh i can smell bonfire where is it is it behind the tree oh i think that's it <laughs> a little fire oh, it's smoky what do you what do you do just look at it i was i have to say i was expecting something bigger bonfire? yeah Oh, thank you. We're going to make s'mores. S'mores. It's not fake. It is fake. How can you get this much fake sand? In one place. All, all of the sand particles are like the same size. I'm gonna ask to prove me wrong. Yeah. Let's look at let's have a look here. Have, <laughs> have you seen a more beautiful YouTuber? I'll see when it's done because I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> no. Maybe a little bit. Bit longer. Bit longer. Oh, it's on fire. Blow it. Blow it. Oh, it's on fire. You don't have any allergic, right? Oh, no. Enjoy. Oh, well, that was small. Can we give it a go? Honestly, I don't like marshmallows. So. No. Enjoy. What is it? Mm. Chocolate biscuits and marshmallow. It's like a chocolate. Yeah. Mmm. That's actually really nice. Good. Want to try some? Yeah. I'm very brown. Yeah? Mm. It's because I'm tanned. Restaurant of choice. We're going for tapas. We're going to have a little look at the menu, but I think this one looks nice. Okay, first course. We've gone with some bruschetta. Not gonna lie, I didn't think it was going to be with all the stuff on top because I ordered gnocchi for my main and I thought I was going to be able to like dip it in the gnocchi. So. It's a little different to what I thought, but still nice, hopefully. Give it a go. Did you do it whole, all in one? Uh, maybe in half. 
You are on the vloggy after all. <laughs> yeah? It's alright. It's alright, yeah. Honestly, I'm really confused. <laughs> I thought I ordered gnocchi. And I've got fish, veg and potatoes. Oh well, still looks really nice and healthy. It looks nice and yummy. Hopefully it will taste good. Truffle fries. I've got truffle fries. Yum, yum, yum. And um, what's it called? Seafood spaghetti. Right. Honestly, I just need to start ordering what Corey's ordering and just trust and be like, yep, Corey's ordered it so it's going to be good because every single meal that Corey orders is good and every single one that I order, it's not bad, but it's just yeah, not what I expect, expect every single time. Oh, wow. Is it good? It's very nice. Oh, <laughs> God. Thank you. It is a bit like our plates for green. Like, you know that shit? Mm. God's sake. Oh, well. I'll stick with my healthy fish and potatoes. <laughs> on his way home, aren't we? Get us pajamas, aren't they? <laughs> it's so pretty. I feel like you can't really see in the dark, but it's so nice. It's a very big resort as well. Mm. Back to the palace. This is incredible. I, I think. think. Oh, I'm not we sure. Are. Oh, yeah, we've got automatic blinds. So when you wake up in the morning, they'll just come Rise up. And shine. Rise and shine. I think we're going to go and lay on the bed. Wait, why are you shutting them? No, I'm not sure. We're going to lay on the little day bed on the balcony. <laughs> Good morning. That's so bright, I keep crying. Mm. Breakfast time. What are you most excited for today? Mm. The beach grill. The beach grill. <laughs> what are you most excited for today? Yoga, fly high yoga. I booked a yoga class. So I am excited for that. Oh, this bed. I woke up and you was the other side and I had to shout you to come back. <laughs> it's fucking massive. You have to call a buggy to take you places because it's so big, the resort. So here's our buggy. We've got some tree chopping going on. Scared. Oh, I wasn't expecting to go this way. The life of a rich baby. Love nice little ride to breakfast. <laughs> that looks so fancy. What have we got? Croissant. Mhm. Mm this is coffee cake. Oh. Um. Like an almond, al almond Danish yeah, croissant thing, yeah. Uh, Another croissant. <laughs> uh, mixed fruit Danish. Oh, that looks good. And then we've seen these, never seen before, like a sticky rice rice cake. What's on top? Is it peanut butter? Mm. Nice. What's what's on the top? Yeah, it's like a um, nutty caramel. Oh, caramel. caramel. Oh, nice. Oh, wait to try. Ah. Yellow watermelon. Never seen that in my life. No. But. Is it nice? Does it just taste like watermelon? Yeah. Mm. It's very juicy. Trying lots of things this morning. So we've got another fruit, would you say? Yeah, it's fruit, yeah. Fruit. Is it sweet or? She said it's quite bitter. It's like a tomato. I have to eat the. Ooh. It like? I wouldn't say it's like a tomato. No. Um, it's like sweet when you initially try it and then it turns savoury. That's really sweet. She said it's quite sour and bitter. Yeah, it's bitter, but I. Mm, you try it. Well, where's your eggs? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, look at the little. Rice. <laughs> thank, thank you very you. much. Let's do a test. They look a little bit wobbly, so I'm hoping there's no snot. Oh. 
Oh, that was a good one. A little bit, just a little bit snotty here, but that's okay. I didn't tell them that, so they can't know. We've got some fruit to try. We're literally trying everything today. This is actually passion fruit, but it's um, white, so that's interesting. And then this is, they just told us it's um, called Ramatan. I think is how you say it, Ramatan. Um, and it's an Indonesian fruit, it's the local fruit. So this is what it looks like. This looks like a lychee. Do you think it is it a lychee? It looks the same. This is the Ramatan. Okay. Oh, it tastes like melon. So I personally don't like it because I don't like melon. It tastes like honeydew. I wish I liked melon back then. So strange. Mm, it looks like something from under sea. Mm. Under the sea. Under, under the, the sea. sea. <laughs> Right, let's try the passion fruit. It's a bit hard with one hand. That's different. That's different. Oh, let me try that one. Roll. Mm. Oh, that is different. Mmm. How would you describe the taste? Oh. No. Um, kiwi ish. Kiwi ish. Kiwi ish. Kiwi ish. Kiwi ish. Kiwi ish. Kiwi it doesn't really have much of an aftertaste though, it just kind of feels like nothing once you've had it. I don't like it. It's good. Texture of a lychee. It's slimy, that. Oh, it's weird. Mm. That, the only thing I can describe it is like a kiwi, but it's not as strong as a kiwi. Right, let's try the passion fruit. Oh. Nice. It doesn't taste like passion fruit at home in like a cocktail. It tastes like... Very um, slimy. Like box ball. Yeah, that's what passion fruit is like. What, what fruit does that taste like? It's got a... Is it melon? It's a very, very mild passion fruit. Oh, maybe it is passion fruit. Yeah, it's just a very mild, a tight passion fruit, juicy a bit. Kicky, a bit Kiki. sour, but it's just mild. Oh. Look, it's got an hole in it, I don't know. <laughs> right, that's enough of that. Let's go to the pool. <laughs> Look how well kept it is. It's like a golf course everywhere. Bergie, wow, you look exotic. <laughs> that is some fun colours. You're so cool. Oh my god, look at his little legs. <laughs> We're under attack. No, I'm joking. But this is very close to the shore. Can't stop shaking. Here we are in the lounge. Just come for some lunch. What have we got for today? Yesterday we had a uh, club sandwich, mm -hmm. which was very big, to be fair, wasn't it? There's two massive bits of sourdough, but you've got two of them, so you like two sandwiches. It's like four, two sandwiches, but four slices of bread. Yeah, but it was massive. It was really nice. We're just sharing a steak sandwich today. Yeah, um, you've got your yoga. In an hour. Fly high yoga. I think it's in the massive like drape things. Do you know anything to me? Like the silks? Like the drape. No, all right. Mm, I don't know. I think it's that, but I don't know. So we've got that two till three. Look at these massive doors. They're bifold doors, but there's like no seal on them. It's just like glass. pure glass. Hey, look down. Look how cool those doors are. Oh, it's a helicopter. You feel very, very protected here. Yeah, they've got like military boats. Yeah, there's helicopters constantly flying over and you probably can't see it. I can see it, but you might not be able to see it on camera. There's um, military boats like all the time. 
and when we uh, when we checked in, we had to check our car, checked all the cars, searched that, make sure. Yeah, they opened all the doors and we searched the car, they were like security check, and then we actually came into the hotel and then you had to do another security, like at airport, you had to put all your bags in like a thing and it went through the, what's it called? Uh, X-ray machine. Yeah, and then you have to walk through a security thing. It's very secure. So, would you recommend go. this hotel? Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Two hundred percent. That is a fat beef sandwich. That's like proper steak. Love. Okay, I'm just getting ready for yoga. So exciting! Um, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of makeup on so I a little bit put together. That shower is so annoying like i'm so sorry about the dripping but i can't really do anything about that so i'm just gonna pop a little bit of brands around so i feel put together it's so funny because this resort is just full of like americans who are just here with their rich husbands like that's it that is i mean don't get wrong there's obviously some anomalies to that but um yeah like majority of the resort is just rich housewives, American housewives with their husbands who've come away for a little bit of sun. Um, the pool is a very, um, what's the word, kind of networking area. We've seen a lot of handshakes going on at the pool. So it's a very uh, networky area, I have to say. Dinners, a lot of the family, a lot of like the couples come together, like the men will be talking like business. So yeah, very interesting. Very interesting to experience. Uh, I'm just bronzing up my face because my body is really brown and my face doesn't match. So it kind of looks a bit stupid. So a little bit of bronzer and then I'm just gonna pop you back down there. I've just had a quick shower because I was really like oily and sun creamy. And I was like, that's not ideal for a yoga class. Let's put a bit of shimmer shimmer on. God, I'm really going out for this yoga class, aren't I? Really going all out. Put a bit on, just a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of glow, you know? Curl the eyelashes. Today I'm just gonna wear my little bralette. I think it makes my tan look quite good. And then I'm wearing my Gymshark shorts to go alongside. Okay, now what do I do with my hair? Because it's yoga, so I need to be able to like lay down, I think. But mind you, it's fly high yoga. So I don't really know what that involves. I think it's where you've got like a big swing, like a big um, bit of material and you kind of like lay in it and you like fly around. I think that's what it is. I don't really know if I'm honest. It just looked fun and I thought I would do it because why not gives me something to do Corey is currently at the pool catching some rays so I reckon I'm just gonna slip my hair back maybe I'll pop it in a little plait maybe that work okay off to fly high yoga we go oh my god there's a frog <laughs> Hey froggy. Okay, let's go the lift. I'm actually so annoyed, so I'm just on my way to fly high yoga still. But I'm so annoyed because you know the necklace I showed you at the start when we were in Changu? It's actually in my other vlog. So when we were in Changu, I bought a necklace and it was really nice. And I've lost it already. I just need to call a buggy. <laughs> Hello, I'm at um, number five. Please could I go to the spa? Thank you. Hello, you need to buggy. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. We've got a buggy here. <laughs> thank you. So yeah, anyways, basically I, oh God, it's a bit bumpy. Basically, yeah, I bought a necklace and I've already lost it. I'm so annoyed. I wore it this morning. I wore it to breakfast and then by the time I went out back to the pool, I lost it. That's annoying. I'm really upset about it. We've tried looking around and we just can't find it. And this is awkward. I've just showed up and no one's here. 
it's a beautiful yoga studio but um no one's here and a man just came along and was like uh we don't have any reservations for today i was like i booked it ages ago so we just got to check so i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it oh god christ alive it's just me and this guy doing fly high yoga i would rather not oh no it's just me no one else. look at the equipment He's like about to set it up. Oh, this is gonna be so awkward. The legs can simply create three hand up. Stop the swing. And then, then you should be able to fix the grip. That's the leg. Still up. The legs, three hand curl, and it's up. Good job. Take your hands on the hammer, on the mat, on the belt. Ready for dinner! So you would have just seen me do my yoga class, which was really good. I'm actually really glad I pushed myself to do it by myself because I just got like a free, well not free, I had to pay to do it, but a yoga class that was one-to-one -one and it was just so fun and you gotta push yourself to do these things, you know? But I am now ready. I'm gonna show you my little outfit. As always, you will have to ignore the suitcase in the background, but this is my dress. It's from Pretty Little Thing. And then I have these shoes. Um, I don't know where these are from. Pretty Little Thing, ASOS. It'll be somewhere like that. So we're all ready. You look very my handsome. Turn. Okay, your turn. Ralph Lauren. Zara again. You liked that one, didn't you? Yeah. You really enjoyed that. <laughs> And then, Primark. Yeah, they're Primark, yeah. Is that, is that a bad thing to say? No, most of my things are from Primark. These were like 15 quid from Primark. They're really nice. Look, let's do a close up. They're like little boat shoes, but they're just nice because they're plain. But we did look in Zara, didn't we? And all the ones in Zara were like... Expensive. A lot no, just money. a bit funky. Like, they didn't yeah, look yeah. good. So, off we go. No, come in. Nah. Off we go. We're going to a nice romantic meal tonight, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Last night was pretty romantic, but made an extra effort tonight. We even got heels on. So let's go to Din's. Oh, we're steaming again. Typical. Why do you steam? We're at the beach grill, so the sea is just over there, and we booked the table fairly early, so the restaurant is fairly early. But that means we can watch the sunset. Most people come to eat like after dark because the sunset's really early, doesn't it? Yeah, about six, it's half six. Mm, really early, so we booked it like for sunset. So we're kind of early, which is nice because we've got the restaurant to ourselves. And we can just watch the sunset on the beach. Aww. I look red. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we both look quite orange. But you look more red, but I've yeah. got makeup on, so. Right, Thank time you. to pick from the menu. Wow. Oh God. Is it nice? Oh God. So we've got the mixed seafood grill, we've got steamed rice and we've got asparagus, we've got some bread and olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Yep. Have you tried it? I've tried a potato. <laughs> oh, let's give it a go. Good morning, it is now the next day. Me and Corey have just woken up, it is 6.45 and we are off to the gym. Yes, you may think we're mad, but we like moving our bodies, it makes us feel good, and we're on a two-week holiday, so it's not just like a week, we are on a two-week holiday, so we're going to go to the gym and hopefully sweat a little bit, and then go to breakfast, so let's go, see what the gym is like. So we went to the gym, we called a buggy to go from our block to the spa, which is where the gym is, and then he dropped us off and he was like, <laughs> and then he was like, here we go. And then it was closed and we were like, oh, what time does it open? And he was like, 10 a.m. <laughs> so we can't go in the gym until 10 a.m. So we've just come to breakfast early. Oh, that looks nice. Wait for me, omelet. Oh. <laughs> Look at what Corey's got. Some <laughs> potatoes and sausage. Oh, wait that for me, omelet. That looks especially not nice. I don't know. Right, he's waiting for an omelette. So yeah, we've just come for breakfast early. I guess that means we can get a good place in the pool, so yeah. 
On today's episode of Pastry Trying, we have this marvellous selection. So they change them every day. <laughs> so let's get trying. Okay, let's this one. <laughs> Yesterday we had like that rice thing, blue thing. This is instead of that. It just tastes like rice. Oh. You don't like it? Nah. It just tastes like rice. Not for me. And we've got this green thing. Mmm. That's nice. It's, it's like coconutty, but it's like squishy cake. Mmm. Mm. Really nice that one. Mm. Then what next? Oh, this. It looks like a Simpsons donut. It does look like a Simpsons donut, but I thought I'd get it because it's a mango donut. All right. So I was like. For you? No. Nice though. It's nice. It's just a sugar donut. Can't taste the mango in that. But it's still nice. What's that? I think that's banana bread. Malt loaf? Alright. Malt loaf. <laughs> mm. Banana oh. bread. Banana bread. Obviously just a standard banana bread, but it's so good. Reminds me of uh, lockdown. Lockdown, yeah. <laughs> Everyone made banana bread, didn't they? <laughs> We've got a dog. That's nice. This one? Yeah, that was sugary. Uh, I can't remember what this one is. Cinnamon. I was going to say, what is that taste? Cinnamon. Um, yeah. Just a cinnamon swirl type thing. Nice. This is an um, apple turnover. Oh. You don't like apple turnover? You like that apple thing you had just today? It's got apple inside. No, not for no. you. Not much apple in that. Okay, now we've got. I've this got one. loads, haven't we? What I know. The hell? Now we've got this one. That looks like coconut. That's it. It's a bit messy. Oh, it's a bit hard. You have to do it in half. Pretty hell, it is hard. No. A bit dry. Last one. Yes, good. Doesn't it? Cream, strawberry, a little bit of icing sugar. Oh, so nice, you went in twice. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of everything. Mm. Mm. Yeah? Mm, nah, not really. No! Nah. Oh, I like that one. I think my favourite is the green one, the green cake. <coughs> Come back to uh, tomorrow for another episode of What Pastries. For part three. <laughs> I'll try it today. Lovely. See you later. <laughs> Lunch time. This is a beef steak sandwich, what we had yesterday. Oh, we had a fat beef burger. Mmm. <laughs> Lovely. Divine. Look at that tan line. Oh, see ya. <laughs> oh my god, it is so hot. Lovely though. How hot is it? Very hot today. Hottest day so far. Yeah. Burning. Burning, burning. There's not a cloud in the sky. Oh, this is the life. We gave up our sunbeds just there. And we got this castle. We've been promoted. We've been promoted. The people had a little baby and we were waving at the baby all day. Because <laughs> it was so cute. She was so cute. And uh, they went away. They were like, you can have our little turret thing if you like because we're not coming back. So here we are. I'll show you what it's like. Got our own little table. Stunning. Of course with an amazing view.
ready for dinner. We've literally just come back and showered. I've washed my hair. I'm just gonna go out like this because I can't be bothered to put makeup on today. I actually fell asleep near the pool and I feel so relaxed and I just can't be bothered to um, properly put makeup on. So I am going like this. This is my little outfit. This um, is a romper actually, it's not a dress. It's a romper and then I've got my little sandals on. Also, I can't remember whether I told you, I don't think I did, found my necklace. Yay! I am so happy I found it. It was just near the suitcases all along. So, yay, I can take my necklace home, hopefully, if I don't lose it again. Do you want to do your OOTD? You've done one every night, so let's carry on the tradition. Go on, into the walk-in wardrobe we go. Right, what have we got tonight? You go first. Oh, I've done mine. Mine's just from Shein. Um, and then I've got gold sandals from ASOS. Mine's Primark shirt, 12 pound, gifted from you. <laughs> Not gifted um, from Primark. I got in it. Primark. Are they? Or Those Zara. One? Uh, check the label. Primark. Are you sure? Got them with the uh, shoes, yeah. Oh, right. Well, that's good, isn't it? And then Proper Zara. Oh, my dresses. Zara, Zara. Zara sandals. Looking brown now. Not as brown as me. Let's go. I'm going to leave my camera at home. Because yeah. we're going to have a date night. And then come home and watch a movie. We started watching a movie last night and it was really good. Called The Mother. Yeah, with J-Lo. The Mother with J-Lo on Netflix. Really good, but we haven't finished it yet. So, got to come back and finish that. Good morning. It's now the next day. It's a beautiful morning. It's actually very early. We couldn't sleep. I've been bitten to death. So was Corey. Started reading. Then we were like, we're hungry. So Pastry we just got it is. Yeah, so we're just on our way to reserve a sunbed at the pool. And then we're gonna go for some breakfast. So peaceful. We have reserved our sunbed. We've got a little bed over there. Another day, another pastry. Yeah, the last day of pastry tasting. We do actually have other things for breakfast. We don't just come and scoff the pastries and then piss off. So, Corey has picked the array of pastries this morning. Show it. Oh, shall I show you? Show, show you what we've got. This is what we're dealing with. Nice, colourful array. I've just realised that plant. There's a plant in the middle. <laughs> what one first? Donut. Focus on me. Just a donut. Just a donut. They, I think they all are. Yeah. Just a donut. This is like a squishy, jelly, coconut covered thing. Is that not nice? Not for me. What? Is it, is it jelly? Because I don't like jelly. I'll try it. I've got to try it. Oh, it's like. Balls inside. That is so strange. Look at the texture inside of it. Next, continuing on. We have marble cake. Mm. Nice. Is it chocolate? Yeah. Mm. Oh, a bit dry, actually. Mm. Nice flavour but dry. Next. This looks fun. Average? Average. What's on top? What is that? Sugar. It's just a sugary pastry. It's not got any cinnamon or anything, it's just a sweet pastry. Mm. Nice, but again, nothing special. Next is a berry turnover. Ooh. I feel like you didn't get the middle, you got the pastry. No, we're not having many brown breakers today. Me. Oh, I like that one. She didn't like it. We were in the store on. I mean, did you, that yesterday I felt like it was like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. That like, these are just. They're like what you buy at co op. Yeah, that's one. That looks nice. Did we have one of these the other day? Yeah. Delightful. The P 
peach. Um, I don't know what's in it. Cream? Oh, yeah. That's nice, that. Again, like just kind of. Nice. I mean, you wouldn't get that in colour. Yeah, but... no, that's horrible. Peach. Oh, you don't like the texture? No. Yeah, Corey doesn't like mushrooms, so he doesn't like that kind of like slimy texture. You said that was the last day, that was pretty poor. Yeah. Which one's your favourite? Oh, good. Okay. I'd say my favourite was the berry. Right, well that's sad. The, the Ritz pastry tasting is done. We are going to head back to the room, check out, maybe have like a few hours around the pool, but I'll probably just catch up with you in Uluwatu, which is our next stop. So stay tuned for that. We are now on our way to Uluwatu. We're in the taxi. degrees but like the other day there was no wind so it's absolutely boiling um we don't know if we can actually check into our place yet so that might be a problem but we'll see current situation okay so update we've checked in to our place the guy that run, runs it is actually crazy, like he's a nutter. So we've come out to the beach. This beach is beautiful. It's called Niang Niang Beach in Uluwatu. They've got this little, I don't know what it is, shack bar thing, cafe. Wow. Life does not get much better than this. Look at the little crab with a shell on its back. Crabby! Oh, look at it. <laughs> we are trying a strawberry Fanta. It's okay, but it is very, very sweet. Good morning, good morning. It is now. Actually, I don't know what day it is anymore. It's Saturday. Ooh, thank you. Our food has arrived. Mm. We both got the same. I've learned now. I've learned to always get what Cory gets. So we've got two bagels and then we've got two different smoothies. So I'll show you when they arrive. But it is now Saturday and we are in Uluwatu. We're just having breakfast at the loft, which is a very popular breakfast spot. Looks good, doesn't it? And we're gonna go and head to the beach afterwards. We need to get some cash out as well. Get some cash out, have a little look around. No real agenda for today, apart from kind of explore a little bit and go to the beach. Look how good this looks. Let's give it a go. It's got coffee, chocolate, peanut butter, banana. Mm. Oh, like everything and more. Love that. Do you wanna try it? I'm alright. This is Tories. A bit more of a strawberry vibe. Cute. Yum, yum, yum. Padang, padang beach, here we come. And we haven't actually updated you guys, but we actually have rented a scooter. Um, it, was a, it was five pound a day for three days. And we're just bopping about in it. We're just getting used to it at the minute, but we'll show you it later. We just parked up and come to the beach. And yeah, we've rented a scooter, finally, on like the last few days. Because we've just been getting taxis so far, so we've actually finally got a scooter. We've just walked all the way down these steps through some rocks. And we've now come to the beach. Each, let's go get away. They say what they're gonna say. Oh, hello! What are you doing here? Look at the kittens! Oh, they're so cute. Beach kittens. <laughs> I really can't believe this exists in real life. Ooh, I thought it's under there. People have been in. Oh, I'm scared. If I dare you to go in, would you go in? Oh, confidence. Okay, oh god. Oh, it smells, doesn't it? Yeah. What's it smell of? Like, 
staleness, I suppose. Ooh, what's over there? It's very quiet. You know, some monkeys come right there. Stop. What's in that bit there? I'll have a look, there you are. People have been in here though, there's loads of footprints. Mm. It's a cave. There's no bats. Oh, I think it just ends there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Imagine if the tide was coming in though and you got trapped. That ain't it. That would be scary, wouldn't it? Probably yeah, look, I mean, look, the tide is coming in. Quick it up. <laughs> Quick it up. We have had an outfit change. We've just come back because we forgot another towel. So we only had one towel and I was in a black swimming costume. So I was boiling. So we've had a little outfit change. I don't know if you can see. A little outfit change and we're now off again on our little moped. This is the Scoopy. A little Scoopy. She's mighty fine. Go on, turn her on. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, the seat's hot. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh dear. Let's go. We're at Thomas Beach now, which is kind of the same. The sand is a bit whiter and the sea is less seaweedy. So it's absolutely lovely. We've got a nice boat floating away in the foreground, no, background even. Also, I bought some cookies. <gasps> oh, oh, fuck. No. <laughs> well, I hell. did buy some cookies. <laughs> oh. Right, go on back. They'll just have an extra hint of sea salt. Beep, beep. On our way home! I don't think I've showed you where we're actually staying, but this is it. It's called Ulu Organic Lodge. It's very quirky, but very cool. Let's go. Lead the way. Empty me. <laughs> So this is the kitchen, our room is just next to the kitchen and there's this gorgeous pool, they're actually building a spa, like downstairs, <laughs> as you can hear, and this is our bedroom, so how cool is this, you've got like a little sofa area and then step up to the bed. You feel like a queen on there, don't you, Corey? I do. Yeah. <laughs> when I've been misbehaved. <laughs> when I've been misbehaved. When I've been misbehaving. When I've misbehaved. Yeah. I've got my dog bed under there. <laughs> it's like that cave we saw earlier. Mm. And then in here you've got the shower with this amazing little window. How cute is that? <laughs> dress on and some jewels our uber can't find us so we're having to walk to it because our villa is like really hard to find it's all oh priced in the middle of nowhere so we're gonna try and walk to find it we're going out to a little italian restaurant oh christ nearly fell over going out to a little italian restaurant just put the torch on found you Okay, we're about to get in the Uber. Let's go. Good morning. Sorry I didn't show you any of the food or anything last night. I'm the worst vlogger ever. But it is now the morning and we are for breakfast. Apart from we have a slight issue, don't we darling? It was thunderstorms last night. Yeah. And we left his helmets outside. As we have done every night. It's very safe to do so here. Sorry about the fogging by the way. Let me wipe you is Victoria's helmet. <laughs> oh. oh no. Ooh, not good. good. Not good. Oh, I'm dying for this breakfast. What is the time? Oh, it's 10.45. It's quite late for us. 
both got the same. Corey got a juice because he's been a bit poorly last night and this morning, haven't you? Not in the best way, so he's had a bit of an energizer juice. I've had this like coffee smoothie type thing, it's lovely. And I'm going to tuck into this. This is the hash brown, so I'm interested to try this. <laughs> Breakfast done, we have just left Nourish, and they have a little shop which is attached to it. I bought my mum a present. Actually, should I show you? Mum, if you're watching this, skip this bit because I'm showing you a present. I bought her some dark chocolate made in Bali, which she loves dark chocolate, so I thought that was cute. And then I bought myself some herbal tea, which is stress relief because I'm always stressed. Um, so I bought some tea, which is again made in Bali, it's jasmine. So lovely little purchase there. Now we are just literally going opposite across the road to uh, the Sunday's Uluwatu Market. Looks like this. So we're just popping across the road somehow yeah. between all the traffic. How's the tummy? Do you feel drained? Just, yeah, not great. Not great. We might go home a bit later because... The toilets aren't great. Yeah. You kind of want a guaranteed supply of toilet roll, do you know what I mean? Wow, it's so cool in here. It's loads of greenery. Oh my god, it goes on for so long. You get a tattoo here if you want it. We are being lazy this afternoon. We've just come back to the accommodation and we've not really done much. Corey feels a bit poorly. So we've just been in bed. I've been editing last week's Bali vlog part one. So that is now ready to go up. And I think we're just about to have a nap, aren't we? Yeah. 40 minute nap before we have to get ready to go out for a nice romantic meal at, what's it called? MU Bungalows. Like a clifftop restaurant. So that should hopefully be good. I hope you feel a bit better by then, but yeah. I'm gonna have a little nap now. Night. Night. <laughs> I have just got out the shower and I'm getting ready to go out for dinner. I do not have long, I literally have 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna like shove some makeup on. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I've just washed my hair. And I don't know whether to, I don't have to have my hair. I've got this dress on, it's like a cream knit dress. Absolutely boiling by the way. And I don't know how to have my hair, I literally, despise my fringe like I feel like I most of people say they like it they say like they think I suit it but I just I find it so annoying to style <laughs> and I don't like the way it looks naturally half the time like when you're walking in the wind and stuff like I literally like this all the time and I just don't like it so the best believe the first thing I'm gonna do when I get home is whack on a load of rosemary oil and get it grown out <laughs> but I have not got long I've only got 15 minutes so I'm gonna quickly hurry up and then I'll show you the final makeup hair outfit everything before we go to dinner ready dress pretty little thing Louis and ASOS sandals. Um, we just ordered a Gojek, but it's not turning up, so the owner gonna of the place them. is gonna take us. Love. <laughs> Corey looks lovely. Where's your OOTD from? Zara. Yeah. Primark. Primark. No, Zara. Zara. <laughs> wow. You can see the sun. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, wow. We got a seafood platter, carrots, potatoes. This looks like mint. This is making me laugh. It looks like raw mint, but it's actually red rice. <laughs> then we've got broccoli, some sort of garnish, I think, for the yeah. fish and seafood, and then this little starter with this most amazing view like wow 
We've been watching the surfers down there as well. We just got home from our meal and today I bought some jasmine tea from this organic shop. It's like, it's called Nourish. And it's stress relief organic jasmine tea grown and bloomed in India. Sorry, Indonesia, not India. Um, but I thought it was tea bags, but it's not, it's loose tea. But luckily, Very our loose. lodge has a tea trainer. So I'm going, why are you spilled it everywhere? Yeah, because they're loose. <sighs> Keep dropping. Hang on, let's gather this up. This mm. is valuable leafage here. Right, let's give it a go. Let's try and boil this. The hot one. There we go, we'll let it brew. Got a few little bits in there, but that's all right. Ready? Ah. It's that's nine, hot. 99 degrees, isn't it? Bite my tongue. Mm. Cheers. To the last night in Bali. Right, let's go and check in. We've got to check into our flights that are tomorrow. We don't know what we're going to do tomorrow in the day. Mm. Because our flights aren't until 9.45. At night, and we've got to check out of here at 11, but can't leave our bag. So, we don't know what we're going to do to be honest, but we'll work that one out tomorrow. We'll take all his luggage at the beach and take his cases on all the way down the steps. Oof, wonder who'll have that job. Anyway, good night, we'll see you in the morning. We have a fucking cheek called Pounding. I need a bag. And I jump and I. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Oh, no. He's back. He's back. Oh. All right. Look. Oh, can we ever need a charger? <laughs> Victoria will sell you one. What is this behind no, your neck? This is, this is my Mac charger. It down. This is my Mac charger. Oh. And here we have it. The final day of Bali. Three o'clock in the morning, I woke up, the fucking cable was wrapped around my neck. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to do any less than two weeks, would you? No. Like I said, two days ago, I was like, oh, I think I'm ready to go home now. So maybe 10 days. Really? Oh no, I, I've only felt that like I'm ready to go home like yesterday or the day before. Yeah. I think 10 days, I, we wouldn't have been done. No. But anyway, the previous clip you saw was our crazy um, Airbnb host. <laughs> Why, you get a video of him? No, it was just our breakfast. But he was talking in the background. Oh, was he? But we had a, we just ordered a breakfast because we've got to pack now. So we didn't want to, and we've got to like return our bike and stuff this morning. So we didn't want to like go out. So we just ordered, it's like Uber Eats. So mm. we just ordered breakfast. Which was really good. We've been to Nourish loads, like three times now. Mm -hmm, nice. Love it there. Um, so we just ordered from Nourish. And now I've got to pack. I've got to wait from 11 mm. until 9.45. What's the time now? Because our checkout is 11 here. It's 9.20. <sighs> mm. 9.20 and then we've got to just wait around here till... 5.45. 5.45 is when we get picked up and then our flight is at 9.45. Yeah. Right, let's get packing. See you on the plane. back in Manchester for the final time thank goodness Looks like you're in Bali still it does actually doesn't it we've just come on a walk to 
the park because the jet lag is too real. <sighs> so tired. We are finally home. We're having a little moment in front of this beautiful view. Look all the duckies out of the sun. Aww. But anyway, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I have got some more videos coming every single Wednesday I upload so make sure you're subscribed and I will see you very soon. Bye!